Hi everybody and welcome back to another stream. I'm Swifty and we are playing Satisfactory Day 5. Now for those of you who haven't seen Day 1, 2, 3 and 4, we have created a iron farm sort of thing, auto the automation, all pretty much iron components that's available to us at this present point are craftable and we have like an automation process which is coping and dealing with all that. Maybe not the most efficient, it's not exactly neat, but it's getting the job done and it's going to allow us to progress through our levels and our tiers and try and like advance and get some better and more cool stuff. So as in the title, today my main goal in this, this day is there is a power slug over there somewhere. Um... There's a power slug over on the, one of these cliffs over... Oh, we've still got presents. Okay. Right. Um, so, yeah, there's a power slug over there on one of these cliff faces. And we're going to try and build up to it and nab it. Because we need that to take that to the MAM, to the research centre. And go and research some stuff. Because um, I, th I would naturally assume that once this is sort of researched we can start like maybe is it going to give us some some form of better power generation or something or we, we will see we will see we have no idea what's going to happen yet so i really want to get the food out of my hand at the moment because yeah i do like this reaver gun because it does get me some distance from the little fireball spitting evil nastiness of hell dudes and I've been reading on, on, like a wiki online and I said in the last episode about the production of these things that um, I wish you could like slow them down and power another one up now I think um, we did we put a power like a um, one of these these power shards inside here to overpower that and it's come to my attention that you can underpower them as well so you could actually drop these down slightly so we could probably stop some of the backlog um, I don't know if that would be the right thing to do or not but I'm gonna try it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce this down now to 75% and if I hit the thing, so yeah, that just that slows it down. So that should give us a little bit of better power efficiency out of here. So we could maybe over overpower something else. So the max just here, it actually does tell us the maximum powers that we are maximum power we are using is 38.2 milliwatts. So 
Um, we need a power slug. And I think I got my chest back at the end of the last gate, at the end of the last one, and I think we did bring back some power slugs. So I think we can craft up. Where is it with the craft these? It's been a couple of days since I've been on here, so bear with me. Uh, yeah, there. So we can actually we can actually craft another one of these fellows up. Right, let's just do that and drop this back into the, the rest of house looks back into that box and <clears throat> what we really need to do is get the iron plate one a little bit more efficient so we can overpower this one let's drop that into there and ramp that one up to 150 and hopefully that should be able to keep up. That may all be down to the actual production of the smelter, but we did ramp that up the last time, so I think the hold up now is the actual production itself. No, we're actually waiting on iron ingots. Oh, so we might need to overpower this a little bit more, maybe. Or maybe we just have to introduce, uh, take another feed from over here and bring it, bring it into this somehow. But then that means we've got to move this belt around somewhat. Uh, we can cross that bridge when we come to it. So let's go and have a look at our storage system. Everything has been going in. Uh, so, oh yeah, we didn't. We took everything, didn't we, in the last episode? Well, not everything, but we took quite a lot of things. So yeah, we've got quite a lot of cable. We've definitely got a lot of wire. Um, we've got plenty of screws. Yeah, rods we're doing okay for. And plates. So I want some plates. Because what I'm going to be looking at doing in this one is with the foundations, is I'm going to be looking at building these and these to try and ramp up to that wall so yeah, I'm currently carrying a lot of of that so should we take another block of cement yeah I think we should we'll take some more cement and um, we'll arm the reba gun because we're now going to try and find that cliff which the slug is on but I do believe there is a little nasty hiding around there somewhere uh, that's like pure iron isn't it oh I wonder if we could take a pure iron feed from this and feed it directly uh, would it be better for that one and take it directly off there and bring it down into there well, that would be an interesting concept something that we can think about at a later date so let's have a look I'm sure we can see this power slug when we get to the edge of one of these cliffs I'm just not sure which cliff it is is it round the back of the copper farm it may very well be so we'll we'll go to the back of the copper farm I don't think these things move. Ah, yeah, there it is. You can see it. It's just up there. But I do believe there is a... A little hidden nasty somewhere. I could have probably bridged across from there and just ran across and got it, couldn't I? Shall we try that way? Or should we be really sneaky and just try and get it up from that end? Let's do it the this way first um, I heard something I think it could possibly just be the music right 
can we build up from here? Let's have a look. Let's start with a four. Oh, this is exciting. This is the first time we've ever built any form of platforms or anything. Uh oh. I heard it, but I can't see it. I definitely heard it. It's down there. Okay. Should we take care of this fella first? Oh yeah. That happened. There it is. Now uh, let's get out of here. I can't see it, it's... And we got it. Flawless victory. Oh, they things scare me. Right, okay, so we should be good now. Now we've had a moment of... Can't we build those straight onto there? No. Can't we build them straight up? That's obviously a no. Okay. I think they hit it. Right. So we're going to build this sort of thing here. Now I think we need to go up one and I think to put a ramp on we need to do this. <coughs> I can't wait to start building a base, but this is the reason why I'm trying to put all the infrastructure in right at the beginning. Um, right, let's get the Reba gone. He doesn't even know what's hitting. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, so bad with this gun. Okay, that's two barbs that we've shot at it and we've not killed it, unless that did. Right, let's... Okay, it's still there. We've got it. Oh wow! That thing packs a punch! Wow, oh wow! How many them bobs did I just stick in that thing? Oh, wow, that was a... Uh, yikes. Oh, we seriously need to get better weaponry. Oh, they think... I don't even know where it's gone. Right, well... Whichever way, we have the power slug. <coughs> Let's go back to the base and go and start the research because I'm desperate to find out what this thing does mm. 
if it just gives me a little bit more of an efficient power shard, I'll be a little bit... Or the same form of power shard, I would be a little bit disappo disappointed after all the effort we've done to try and find that thing and... Okay, so we need reinforced plating. That's no problem for us, because we have a line that gives us just that. 60, just like that. And hopefully... Start research. Okay. Come on. Oh, a purple power. Right, okay. So, if the orange one wasn't elusive enough, now we've got to find a purple one. <clears throat> yeah. Did that offer us anything else, though? Did it offer us a more efficient power shard or anything? Power shard 2? Yeah, I think that probably just... Does that give us two of those? And that just gives us one? Oh, well, that was worth it, wasn't it? Okay, so what other research can we do? Um, let's have a look. Quartz. What have we got in the line of quartz? We need a hundred of those. Um, I don't know what a crystal oscillator does. Maybe is it some form of um, Okay, so Alien organisms, what do we need for these? Right, we can't do that. Um we could do that, we have so we have more than enough wire st stockpiled. Um I really, really want to investigate this space bridge a little bit more today as well. So, and I know I kind of boo-booed when I when I built it where I did. That that entrance, the the in feed, is definitely blocked. So that's my bad. Right, that's going to take five minutes. So let's go and have a look at the space elevator for a moment and we will go and have a look and see what it is that I did wrong. Um, I did cut away everything. Uh, so we could get a lot better access to see what I did. There. That. That there is definitely blocked by that. So if I try to build a conveyor out of there there's no way that's well it's not... oh maybe it will do you know what i'm just going to build it okay well that saves moving the space bridge right and i think that we need to give it these things smart plating so in order to do that we need loads of rotors and we need loads of reinforced plates so to build rotors I think we've got everything that we need but we're gonna to have to manually craft them because I don't want to take the production line off of that thing yet you see how much more efficient this is than of the first the first attempt Okay, so the other thing here is jump pads. I'm not even really here. Um, we've done all of tier zero, we've done all of tier one. We've just got this to do. But that's 50, 50 rotors. I'd rather start seeing what the space bridge actually does. So let's craft up some rotors. What do we need? rods and screws let's be better to empty the inventory first I believe what can we empty um, 
iron ingots, yes, stones, those can get emptied. How is our... Oh, we're running out of fuel. Let's just quickly top up the, the power units. some more power's gonna be kind of an issue I think right that's everything topped up so that should give us uh, at least an hour or so before we need to Top those back up again. So we need screws and rods. Let's take a load of this and a load of these. Right, we should be able to craft up these rotors quite quickly. And we know we need 50. Right, so while that's doing that, um, <clears throat> I know we're going to have to go and craft up a, lo a load more of these rotors as well. Because to get to that next tier, as you've seen on that other screen, we're going to need 50. So that's something we'll look at doing today as well. And we need to go and start looking at maybe starting to scout an area for the new base. I'm kind of... I'm kind of liking that cliff up the top that we cleared on day four. Um, now all the nasties have been removed from that area, I thought it might be an idea to maybe have a look at that in a little bit more detail at some point. That will obviously be in a future episode though. Um, and I've just realised on how badly my health got whacked. Mam research complete. Let's just go and have a quick look at that. Uh, okay. Tool belt has been expanded. Oh, nice. Right, so that was alien organisms. So what's this one? That's inventory slots. So what is that? Hmm, I've never seen any of that so far. Wow, maybe that's something that comes in tier 3 maybe? They said uh, the tool belt had been um, expanded. Oh look, so now we can get three things in here. So we could put our food in here as well now. Which is quite handy. Although we're not going to have any food left by the end of this. Right, let's get some, the rest of these crafted. I think we might just go for the 50. Or should we just go for the 75? Yeah, we might as well do it. It's not exactly taking a, a great amount of time, is it? Um, and then we can build the smart plate in. Now I don't know if they have to be manually loaded or whether they have to be put in little by little. Um, sorry, if they have to be put in manually or whether you have to feed them in on a belt. I'm not sure. Okay, so we've got 71 of those fellows done. Okay, so... Is it that we need to build? Oh, can we not? Do we actually need one of those? I did remember. 
Um, select recipe. Yeah, smart plating. It has to be done with one of these machines. Okay. So that's a little bit. That's a little bit of a curveball. Um, we could shut down production of iron plates for the time being, which that may be an idea. Yeah, let's shut these down and let's just put the unit on standby. Because we can let all them, like, all load up. In fact, I'm going to keep this one on. Yeah, I'll keep that one on because it's not going to hurt. And we'll let these run out. And then we can change the production run. That looks really pretty in the dark, doesn't it? Why do I always get presents in the most silliest of places? I know you can get up there somehow, there is a ladder. This is a noisy piece of equipment. Yeah, we're not getting that present. Okay, so... Are we completely out of materials? Yes, we are. Let's feed the beast. Um, smart plating those and those and we'll come on over here and grab some more reinforced plates right. we'll add those to that oh they take quite a long time don't they 30 seconds per one wow Maybe this is something that we should look at overclocking as well. What materials have we got left in here? Still got 200 of these in my inventory. A lot of wood. Is that our first, our first smart plating? Done. Well, that's going to be interesting. Okay, so what that's doing that. I am going to open the rest of this calendar. So, because this does have some tickets in it for Christmas event. Fireworks, we can craft fireworks now. I have no idea what that thing does, by the way. I did actually open the Christmas calendar on my own 
little level. And I think we can put these into the research centre. I think that's what you do. Right, we've got one slot left. And where can I see it? There's some three. Okay, let's go and empty this inventory into our overspill, this one. We'll put all our Christmas things in this one. We'll even put those in there as well because we've got those from the calendar. see any more? Is that one there? No. That looks to be one. So number six. Candy canes. Thirteen. Some more presents. As if we need any more of those. There's number sixteen. Twenty power shards. Oh my word. Oh we should have opened this first. Uh, goal. Yeah that's that even locked emote finger guns okay I didn't even know emotes were a thing on this That's number 14 100 presents there's number 4 I bet you're all shouting at the screen now going Ah, uh, there's one there, there's one right there. Oh, new skin. Nice. We'll have to have a look at the skins another day, I think. There's a star. And I did see... An, I'm sure I've seen another one around here somewhere. open that one. Have we got them all? God, I can hear it. I can hear it in my head. Like Swifty, you've missed one. It's right there. We've got that one before. I don't think we've opened number one. Ah, oh, there's on his tongue right there. Look. Have we got them all now? Have we got them all? Just regardless, we do need to go and empty the inventory. Okay. Right. Um, get a hint. Well, I'm guessing that seeing as we've not got any hints, I think that must mean that we've got them all. Yeah. No, we missed one there, look. So there's number one, number two, number three, four, five, six. Where did I just see number seven? I swear I just seen number seven in my mind. There, seven. Where's number eight? Is that? I don't see number eight. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, you can't hide from me forever. So that's eight, nine, ten. Um, did we find number eleven? No, I don't think we did. Number eleven. Number eleven. Where are you? somewhere. Are you there? No. It looks like morning time. 
there's level 11. I bet you another premium skin. Wow. Okay, so that's 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. Did we find 17? Is this one? Yeah, 17's up there. I can't see 18. Oh, there's 18. 18, come on, where's number 19? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, we found them all. So we got we got some cool bits out of that. Um, what's this? Color cartridge, snowballs, medical inhaler, some ball balls. Quantum computer, power shards going to come in very handy. Coal, uh, wandering star, candy cane, some presents. A suspension oscillator. Okay. The coupons, ball balls, and just some, yeah, just Christmas decorations. The rest. And we did get two skins, I th oh, an emote and two skins. So, have we almost finished? Wow, this is super slow. Super, super slow. Shall we go and bump it up a bit. Right, let's bump it up twice. And let's double the production money. 200. Come on. Right, now how much did that hit, hurt us with the... Okay, okay. It holds 60, so we're still well... We're still well there. So we could, we've already done that, okay we'll have a look at speeding the rest of that up after. They're going to be really helpful, I just don't know what they do. Does anybody know what quantum computers do? Please help me out there if anyone knows. Because I certainly do not know what they do. Right, we should be getting one of these like every 25 seconds or so now. Yeah, we are. That's going to help with the production of the plates as well. It's going to really ramp that up a little bit. So we've got 22 of these. So does that mean we can like load some of them in? Ready? So we're on load now. I don't know if you can kill those things or not. I th I think they just disappear, do they? Hmm. 
maybe once you've got better weaponry maybe so it'd be interesting to see if they did drop something I'd probably need to go and look on a wiki or something and find out what creatures you can actually harm and which ones you can't and that thing that keeps running around that little red pinky thing with a red nose on it trying to look like Rudolph is really freaking me out Oh, is this thing stopped? Is this ready to be changed over to the next production run? Yeah. So, we're going to do that with wood this time. And we're going to plonk all this in here. We've got far too much stuff in our inventory. these back into here. Look how many plates that we've got. Let's put some of those in the storage because we really don't need them yet. We're just carrying them around for the sake of it. Same as the rods. Screws. And and we've got four leaves which we don't really need at this present point in time so 40 minutes in we've already done the main objective for today which was grabbing that blue uh, the, the orange thingamajig let's see this holiday event as well what have we got here one red bauble, three, 30 bows and 20 candy canes now you can craft these somehow um, a candy cane basher and a candy cane okay so I want to see what it is what it takes to actually oh. hmm. I thought you could craft those. What's that? One of those or one of those? Does it have to be done in a crafting machine? Is that recipe? Yes. Uh. So you put a present in and it pushes a branch out. Hmm. I guess we should be collecting these Christmas presents after all then. Maybe they do have a purpose. Not that I'm going too far out my way to collect them. Because we do have quite a few of them. Yeah. Um said that we needed a red ball ball and some of these tree things so we've got that we've got them let's grab them presents from here and what we've got here um, holiday event ball ball Oh, we've only got 30 of those. So can we shut that down for a second? Okay, we can let that. That's going to have so much wood in it. Um, 
Yeah, it's got so much biomass in that. Let's take the biomass out and stop it. Because I really want to craft up some of these these things. Um, let's just go to select recipe and just do it. Right. Okay, and it needs presents. Let's see them. Hey, look. Christmas tree leaves. We do actually have the Mark II belts now as well. So, let's go and have a look and see how many more of these things that we've got. 27. Have we got enough to get it? Send our first load. Have we got enough? No. We're missing one, and I did see one on that belt, so I'm guessing by now it's in here. Yes. Right, we're going to get to see what this thing does for the very first time. Right. Seal. Oh, uh, what was that? Send crate. Here it goes. Wow. This thing just keeps surprising me every single time. 500? How the heck are we supposed to build 500 of those things? I didn't work. Automated wiring? Oh, that's got to be a lot further down the line. Um. I'm going to get an objective complete, so... And um, we got to see a really cool, funky animation from... from the space elevator again. Oh. And here comes their cups. So, we need to craft up some of these. So, we need to... Rescue this stuff. Select recipe, reinforce plates, put it into production. Let's turn them all on. That is on, this isn't. To run a lot more efficiently now. You know, as soon as it had time to like back up, like the stock. And... That's always constantly full. This isn't. It's dropping. I'm guessing we need to keep this. Okay, fuse broken. We killed it. Well, you didn't. I did. How much power? Wow. I'm guessing it's this thing. I'm guessing we're going to have to take this down to 150%. That's obviously using too much power. Let's see where we are with that. Let's restart it. She's broken. 
Hmm. Capacity of that is thing. Can we overclock the power units? Will that give us more power? Might not make them any more efficient, but it might give us a little bit more power. 150. Okay, right. Right, the max capable. Capacity 71. So we can easily put another one of those in there and drive this up to 150. Now we've got 82 megawatts. So we can now put this back to 200%. Right, let's switch the power up. Let's watch the power carefully. Yeah, so we're like 10. We've got 10 units spare, roughly. Or 9. 9.7 to spare. <laughs> right. And this could help out a little bit because this one now could add one of these into here. Drive this up to 150. And we can shut this one down. Fuse broken. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, we'll drive this up to 200 then. What we've got now? We've got. Yeah, I think, I think that should do it. Yep, we're 10 in the good, roughly. And we've saved on a generator. It's just one less generator we've got to got to fuel. Oops! Didn't want to do that. How many of these things have we got in there? 74? Right, okay. That's more than enough for that research project, wasn't it? Um, holiday event. We've got more than enough. Yay! So we need to turn those. We've got to can't afford. Ah. Oh, did that give us the research to do the candy canes? It didn't actually give us them. So can we? Oh, is it one of these things again where you have to? Recipe. Candy cane, what does this cost? Three of those. Ah. Oh. One every five minutes. Right, okay. No, you get five every minute. So that's like one every 20 seconds or something. Okay, that's cool. And we needed ten. We have two. We have two. Three. 
Oh, and we now have a more consistent iron plate in. Yep, we, we do have a lot more consistent iron plating on the go. Seven. Eight. Ten. Okay, so let's see what this rest of this Christmas stuff gives us. Holiday event. Research. Okay. Right, okay. So, we need 20 of those this time. And we need... 30 of those. So we do have a we still do have a lot of those presents left. And didn't we have some of these? Yeah, we had candy canes and stuff in there already. I've forgotten the amounts. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had like a little sub bar for this. Um, holiday event. Right, we've got that, we've got that. We need 25 of those. So, we should be able to switch production of this thing to Christmas bows. Let's put that in there. How many of these do we make in a minute? Ten a minute, wow. This shouldn't take long then. One. Two. So we've got 27 of those. Thirty, right. So let's research this. Start research. Okay. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Fixmas is coming to town. Well. Gift tree. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We've got the stuff for this already. Um. Well, that's a lot of baubles. We need to research bubble technology then, don't we? Right. We haven't got that.
rewards we could build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, rewards, we get that. So we need 50 and 50 of those bauble things. Did we get given them in the calendar? No, we only got 25. So how do we... How do we get a bauble on? Is there something I'm missing here? Do we need this? Do we need to use our coupons to buy? bubbles in there right okay so the holiday things not a thing that we can buy okay so how do we get bubble technology We need red ball balls and blue ball balls. Right, so in smelter. Hey, kind of Give me those things back. Shut that off. Um, should we just build a quick smelter? I don't think smelter costs much to run. Um, what is it? We don't need screws for a smelter. Is it just this and this? sure that we can steal power from this right it's so we're both a temporary smelter production smelter doesn't matter which way it goes it's only temporary we're staying there too long two I can't hook up to that connection. Oh, blast. The copper line definitely doesn't have enough. Okay, so... This definitely does have enough. Yeah, it don't need to look pretty, we just need to get it to run for... Yay! So we need 50 of those. So let's split them, split them, split them again. And... Yeah. Right, well, while that's doing that then, we need to go and collect some more presents. Because we're going to need a lot of these things. I didn't think I'd be doing this. So you get 10 for each one of those. Ten. 
Watch out. I have actually been collecting presents. You know, when I've been running close to them and stuff. But I've never really gone out my way to collect them. Good thing though is we do have quite a few from right near the base. I am not sure whether we're going to run into a trap going up this way. loads over there but that's just like isn't that just like like one of these um, sort of candy trap things where you it's like come here here's loads of goodies come on take my goodies I know this is going to end badly. I do like that for that reason. Because before I used to have to, with this before that I used to have to stand there with that zappy stick. So oh you are kidding me. They're stacked up on top of each other. This could only happen to me. Right, there's some more drop by the base. Can we do a... Huh. Yeah, we took a bit of damage, but... I think it was worth the damage. Seeing as we know what we're going to get out of it. Right, I think we've got enough. I'm not going running off everywhere after those things. If they drop near us, we'll care them. If not, we're not overly fussed. Right, 23 red ball balls. Off. 
let's actually put this one building map back to wood. Turn it on. Oh no, we don't want that wood split recipe. We want that solid biofuel. And this wants to be biofuel wood. We need 50, was it? We stack these items on the top. Oh, we don't want to do that. No, we don't. What does this run on? Is it this? The stone line? 21. I was going to think about putting a power converter in there um, to overclock it, but I don't think that's a great idea. I think that would trip it. Oh, we've got a load more wood in my inventory here. I really should put that into this storage. Oh, we overclocked it, didn't we? Well, that's now truly efficient. Ten more. So that's two minutes. So we could go and get us a couple more presents. But this area should be safe because I've deforested it and decluttered it and de bad guide it. And like this sort of area, this is where I was thinking about building like the main base. So I was thinking it wouldn't it be cool to like build it so it was going up that cliff. And I mean like especially if we can get glass doors and stuff, like wouldn't it be cool like being able to have an office that's overlooking this I mean it's if anything it, it's quite pretty pretty and the structure's pretty flat and then that's close to all our infrastructure so let me know what you think about that or should be should we be looking for something else don't know whether I'm going to be able to get this one. I'm actually stuck on the tree. So there's only one thing that I can do. I have got biofuel on me, haven't I? Okay, so it's glitched me into a tree after I tried jumping on it. He's doing the funky jig. I can't jump. I have no... Well, that's definitely a bug. And you're all seeing it right there. Look at it. Leaves 
power. Oh, it has to be biofuel. Damn. We didn't have any biofuel. Okay, so. What do I do here? Um, if I save game, save, confirm, then load game, load game. And I'm still in the same place. Normally you end up in your hub. That's a bit... That's a bit janky. Okay, so... So we're going to need to go and pick up that chest. Yeah, that's definitely a bug right there. The good thing is, is that present isn't there anymore. Right, take all. Now, I want that in a hand, that in the hand, and that in the hand. Present right there. Okay, okay. Let's take this biofuel and feed the feed everything we need to. It's these two here that are probably the most important two in my Yeah, I really, really need to get that one filled. Is our Oh yeah, Christmas tree decorations are done. So select better be want some blue bubbles. Oh they should be better. We're just waiting for the blue ball balls now. Blue ball balls are next. I put that 82 back, split that, put 60 in my inventory. Because I am going to cut that tree down. I don't want that happening again. And it'll allow me to get a few more, a few more logs flying up here.
collect a little bit more while we're here. It's not going to hurt us. Wow, look at how many presents we have. I didn't think there was any point in collecting these every day. <laughs> now I'm how mistaken I was. I suppose it's just a little bit of fun. I'd like to see what it actually unlocks. I'm just more curious about what it would actually unlock by getting all of these things. We have 36, we need 14 more. 14 more and we are... And then we've done with those. out if we can kill one of these things. I've got a feeling that it can't. Oh, it's running away. got away. I'm guessing that you probably can't kill those things or we just need a lot better weapon to do so. But hey, we give it a go. Oh, and we've got 54 of those. Right, we'll just keep that running for the present. Uh, we'll go to the MAM and let's go and see what we have everything we need. Restart, restart tree, tree search. Start research. Okay, go to the MAM analysis system. Right, okay. So now we is it a constructible item? This, ah, there we are, Christmas tree. We need a hundred of those leave things. So, let's shut this down. Let's shut this down. Uh, no, we can just change. We've got how many of those? 15, so that would be enough. So we're constructing 10 of those a minute now. So that's going to take about five minutes. Oh, 
Alright, let's grab some more presents. Might as well. thought after day one that this is what we would have created I think this I think this game is really really good um, I'd love to just sit there and play it for hours you know like in a, just a one world thing but I'm kind of leaving it all for stream just so that I can give like um, a natural reaction to things on when when they're happening and how they're happening so the ones they run so copper line Yeah, we're on a new adventure. Now it's just death over there, that way. So you can see these power slugs now. I'd love to be able to get that one up there. I don't think I've really explored this ridge properly. I know it brings me out on the other side of my base. Oh wow, this look, it's just enticing me in. Like constantly. It's like, look, look how easy this one is to get. don't want to get to a point where I where I'm losing all my stuff again well we're pretty much passing that location so we'll nab that one well, that's going to land on our base isn't it Got it. So we have this one here as well. Uh, right, okay. We'll leave it at that with those. Right, we've got 52. Right, let's take that out. <coughs> right, shut it down, save power. Um, how many presents have we got now? 692. 692. But it wasn't that we needed, was it? It was these things. needed a hundred. So we need another 36 Go to that with those ones that's in there. Oops. So we need another Thirty-four. Ooh, 
the lolly. I'm determined to have that Christmas tree built and I'm going to build it right around here somewhere. Probably is going to come right down to the wire. In fact, I really probably should take that um, and refill my power plants. I don't know, can these things be automated? No. No, I guess not, it's all manual. We can load some mold into that. Eighty five, we only need fifteen more. And then we get our Christmas tree. It's a bit late for a Christmas tree, I know. Most people are well, most people are taking their trees down. We're putting ours up. waiting for stuff we really should be looking at building more rotors um, what does it need screws screws and these pole thing is rods let's take those and let's take two four hundred of those Let's just craft those up. Because we might as well get the 50 of those that we need to get to the next tier. I'm not sure what we're going to use those jump platforms for, but. I think it'll be interesting to find out what our next tier of things is going to be I'm guessing that what I'm guessing that these things up here this um, refined frame or whatever it's called and this refined cable is probably going to be in them options um, in one of them upgrades but we might start unlocking new buildings and stuff maybe as well that done so let's see what we need uh, some plates and some cable right and we can put back what we haven't used right, let's put back the screws rods we can put, uh, we can put those back because we haven't used those uh, we can take we took a lot of those which we didn't need to and um, cable took 200 of those I just love being having that storage system and just being able to go in it and just pick it up and be done 
Right. Rotors. Plating. Plating. Cable. And here's the big red button. Let's go watch the ship. Milestone reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. What have we unlocked? There she goes. Pod will return in three and just over three and a half minutes. So let's have a look. Um, production, that's pretty much all stayed the same. Power, it's all the same. Logistics, okay, we have, well, we already had those. Organization, that was the same, that's the same. This is new, we have these jump pads. don't think we'll be using those. Right, we have a hundred, we have, we can build a Christmas tree. And we're going to build it. Should we build it here? Right here. Wow, that takes iron plates to build. So did that allow us to unlock? Different bubble smelting? No. sure how we get the next ones then. Produced in foundry. Produced in foundry? What's a foundry? Produced in a foundry? I don't have a foundry. Maybe that's one of the unlocks that we're going to get once this fella's landed. Right, we should be able to see tier 3. Coal power! Scanner update. Fluid buffer. Pipelines. Coal generator, basic steel foundry. There's the foundry. So we need it. We could pretty much make this like quite quite easily. So this is the target. Then what does this do? Smelts two resource into alloy ingots. Steel steel ingot. Oh, okay, right, right. I'm um, I'm here. So this is a whole new a whole new process. Um, 
tractor, truck station, inventory slots. That that would be nice. Tier four, advanced steel production. Mine. Oh, a Mark II miner. Oh well. Extract solid resources from a resource node. The normal extraction rate is 120 per minute. Encaged industrial beam. What's that? What is that? Motor. Automated wiring. Project part three. Ship with the space elevator to complete phase of the product assembly. And heavily modular, modular frame. Improve melee combat. Exo basher. Extra hand slot, extra inventory slot. Hypertube. Hypertubes? There's a hypertube. No. You can travel through them. Huh. Step or pipeline, conveyor lift, Mark 3. Industrial storage container. Pow power storage. Can be connected to a power grid to store ex excess power production. The stored power can be used later in cases of high consumption. Oh wow. Now that's something that went... Okay, right. So that's going to be our next like... I think we're going to be working towards, um, to start with, I think we're going to be working to the steel. I think this is this is the route that we need to go on, and it, on day six, is we need to get this foundry. Um, we need 150 rotors though, so that could take a while. Uh, we have, well, we shouldn't take a while, we do have everything for them, it's just going to take a while to craft. We can pull those out of there. Um, Oh yeah, forget. So we've got reinforce we've got plenty of reinforced plates and stuff. We really do have everything that that we need to do this. The only other thing that we've got really left on here is we need fifty of these candy canes. So Let's get some. Let's get some candy canes on the go. I don't really fancy that many candy canes. Do we have any of those in our box? Yeah, oh, we took them out. We need snow though, don't we? How much snow do we need? Oh no, we just need those ribbons and those candy canes. And we've got that. What's that? Snowball. Compress snowball. We do actually have snow somewhere, I'm sure we do. Actual snow. No, it's there. We missed that, we didn't put that in that, that container. Actual snow. Hmm. Whether or not we're going to get this snowman built from this episode, I don't know. Because these are a lot slower. We need 50 of them. This thing's just been pumping out like crazy. 
I bet we have a real, real good load of... This could be working more efficiently now. I think this belt's going to need to be upgraded to a Mark II belt, to be perfectly honest with you. Because I think this one needs to be going a lot faster into here to feed this. Because I think we've got the right sort of thing here. Maybe even this should need to be turned into a Mark II belt. Maybe that's something as well for day six, is upgrades. Maybe that's what we should call the next episode, upgrades. this thing this thing's just been a beast the entire time too we've got that much of a backlog from here it's unbelievable but it's it is what it is I was stuck there for a moment. There is still a lot to do in this game, that is for certain. But we're unlocking new stuff, we're learning new stuff. We have a great big whopping Christmas tree in the base and we have presents just randomly landing on our head all the time which, yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, right, clear that up. So, how many candy canes have we got in this thing? 18, we need 50. Oh, uh, we've got about 10 minutes left of this stream. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, in the next one on day six, we go, we're going to call it upgrades because we're going to have to make this more efficient. That, that's running like quite efficiently. It's, I can't, we could maybe upgrade the power units, like overclock them to maybe 200 to 250. Um, with both of them and then we could maybe um, da, 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 mark we've got the technology for mark 2 belts so we could easily put a mark 2 belt in here and a mark 2 belt on the outfeeds what else do we need to upgrade don't really want to mess with this because it even though it's not exactly 100% great it's still pumping something solid with uh, the amount of resources that we get and I'm getting that we're guessing that we're gonna need quite a lot of this alloy and this metal plating very shortly uh, we've got plenty of wire we've got plenty of cable uh, tons of concrete and yeah we've got almost 200 reinforced iron plates which is a right nightmare to, to 
well, I'd say it's a nightmare, but it's not exactly fun crafting that stuff up. Uh, we've got to craft these rotors. We're going to need a load of those. We're going to need a load of those modular frames. What's the recipe for that? Reinforced our iron plates and iron rods. So I think we're going to pretty much wipe out our storage system on the on the next day. Okay, ball ball machines have stopped. Have we run out of? Oh, we've run out of. Oh, we ran out of presents. But you know what? I don't want to put that many presents in there. Let's split those. Put those in there. Oh, there, look. Yeah, three. It's three per one. Oh, I didn't see that. Check to see on how much it is to build a snowman. Right, snowman. Oh, we still need bows as well. <laughs> oh. Oh, we need uh, 50 bows. Well, we have 21. They. I'm sure they come out a lot quicker. Sure they do. Let's read the gun. Let's just go down here and collect these presents. And some nuts over there. Tasty nuts. Yum yum. Uh, presents. Let's nab that. And we'll nab this. We fell over here. Nab. I still don't know if we can kill these things. What are they called? Moths or something? I'm sure someone said they were called moths. And that big thing stuck on a present over there. Add some more food down this way. We'll just have to. Yeah, come on, put it up. We need to be collecting snap snacks. Yep, that's solidly building. Now there's some nuts behind the base too. And again, it's eight. Right, eight more, and we are very close to building a snowman. Space bridge, uh, space bridge, space elevator. Notice that we, you know, them technology things that we didn't get a bit of gun. I can't wait to find the scanner for coal too. That's something that's really interests me right from the get go too. On which tier was that? That under coal power. 
maybe that's something that we can almost do on day six because finding coal would be an am amazing for us because a coal generator would be brilliant what's this a minute. So we would need a lake or something to put that in. Should we buffer? Okay, this is going to need some thinking about because, by the looks of it, to build a coal generator. It needs a water supply. To build a water supply, you need a water extractor. So that's got to be on top of a lake. And then, obviously, you need all your pipelines to be put in. So then you would need a pump and then a fluid buffer before you get to the coal generator. So as... I don't... I know we have all these lovely wonderful waterfalls down here but I don't actually think there's any water down there. Oh, I've just seen there's a blue power slug up there. Yeah, we just need to go and have a quick look down this way. Um, I think this is just like literally... <gasps> Whoa! Oh wow, that just made my heart pound. Oh. I, I play Minecraft a lot and I'm used to going up near and next to an edge and then pressing shift. And obviously shift in this game allows you to run, so pressing like shift on an edge isn't great. I I think there might be some water up there somewhere. But I'm not 100% certain. Okay, have we run out of gifts again? Run out of gifts again. Oh, we only needed three more. Right. Well, we're going to watch, just watch this for a couple of seconds, or a minute, to get these three through. Uh, well, that's one. That's two. Seriously, you need to weld? Candy canes. Right, we can stop production of that because we want to go into those. These take longer to craft. Can't find my nuts. Right. Storage. Storage. We've put our nuts away. <laughs> no, we haven't put our nuts away. Now we have. We've got four. Then we need fifty. Oh, we made such a big mistake back then. 
Oh well, say we, I. This is why we need a coal plant, just for this reason here, because we really, really burn a lot of fuel. I know technically we've been pumping every th all the these stupid bows and candy canes and stuff through here, and it's really been running our biofuel well I just wish you could manually craft these things And I've just realised if we build a coal power plant we are probably going to need to redo all the power for this for this base I mean maybe we could do it so it's not as messy because some of it is really really kind of messy Thirteen more, twelve more. We're definitely going to be cutting it down to the wire again. But we will get this. We will build our snowman, and we will call it a day for this for today. We're going to go over slightly, uh, but only by a few minutes or so. Because we only need 10 more of them and it says it makes 10 per minute, uh, no sorry, 5 per minute, so 2 minutes and we can build a snowman, yeah we can, we can do it, come on my friends. seven more bows and then we really need to get this put back into into biofuel making no I can't just leave them there can I Should have had enough. It's doing this on purpose. See, if they land up there, I'm not too forced, but if they land in the base, it's like, yeah, you've got to go and get it. Six we've, we've overproduced. Right, shut it down. Right, uh, we want biofuel starter up. Starter up. Let's get the production rolling back to the biofuel. And now it's snowman time. Right, I 
don't think I've ever been so excited to build a snowman. Okay, here we go. Um, that's completed. And we can build a snowman. And um, what do we need to build a snowman? What? What's that? Oh, we're going to ball balls. We need one red ball ball. Oh, well, that's not. Do we have any left in here? We've got some snow. What can we put anything in this to just quickly make a ball ball? Um, I don't want to put that much in there. It'd help if I turned it on. We only need to make one, don't we? I think we've got everything we have, so we're going to build a snowman right here next, in between this tree and a rock. Snowman. Can't afford. Oh. Oh, we need bows? Oh, you're kidding me. Candy canes. Uh, have we got candy canes? No, we haven't. Okay, we're going to be running over slightly. <laughs> By probably about another four minutes or so. That's but Let's just check the cost. Need one bow, three candy. There, well, there's the bow. So now we need candy canes. Candy canes, we need three. Is that right? We need three candy canes. Okay, yeah, we need three candy canes. There's one. Come on, let's do this. Let's build a snowman. Make sure that's behaving properly. I, I didn't think it was going to restart then. Okay, so yeah, we've got solid fuel pumping out yet again. And right, third attempt. We're going to build a snowman right here, right now. We're going to have him facing us, so he can watch what we do. Ha <laughs> ha what a... What a derpy looking snowman. What the hell's going on with its nose? What? What has it got in its mouth? That nuclear waste? Well... With that bombshell, I'm going to leave you because we've run over a little bit. So, what's going on here? Why is this rammed up? Okay, oh yeah, I know. Um, yeah, okay, so that's day five done. So we've we found that elusive slug over on that that cave we had a little play around and we did the research what we wanted to do so our primary goal was the slug we got that we've moved from tier 2 to tier 3 and we now know on day 6 that this is going to be our target is getting this foundry and we know that we're going to cut we're going to have to call the episode upgrades because that's exactly what we're going to be doing we're going to be upgrading that thing over there 
that needs upgraded because it is so inefficient um, and just a few conveyor belts and a few little tweaks with the power here and there we can max power these and run them at 250% each yeah we're going to go like through fuel like crazy but we will see like a solid a solid line of production from this thing um, because literally we're running this thing at 200% and we're only getting like one every now and again whereas when everything was all stockpiled back up and we turned it off and allowed it to back back up this was spitting out two or three of those on that belt before going into the storage center and yeah this is basically our hold up right here is we need this belt to be faster we need it to load into here a lot quicker so the mark 2 belt should do that for us we could even replace this belt and we may even look at overclocking this to get this to like 200% as well but I don't know whether the other iron ore as well but this doesn't seem to be very efficient so we may need to overclock this as well um, so yeah episode so day six uh, the sixth episode it will be day six upgrades so um, and I think I'll be doing that one tomorrow at roughly around about six o'clock tomorrow so catch me then if you want and we will go and get the upgrades done and we will try and get up one more tier and get that found the foundry done so thanks very much for watching stay safe have a great evening morning or night depending on where you are in the world so take care guys swifty out